Legend Total War here, and today we've got a rating your Doomstack video covering Miao Ying with a mostly Celestial Dragon Crossbowman Doomstack. He's managed to steal Dremar Hammerfist, which is one of the Clan Angrand ancestor heroes. So that basically confirms that you can steal legendary heroes. That's very interesting. Imagine stealing Ariel, for example. Anyway, um, so we've got a lot of these units here, got some artillery, and the thing that interests me most about this is that um, Order Resolve is giving us a heroic victory, and if we were to order resolve it, um, no, units get wiped out. So I'm just going to order resolve it first, then load up the battle, and then see if I could do better than what order resolve yielded. That's insane. That is probably the strongest order resolve I've ever seen from an army like that. We, we went up against three full stacks there. Okay, so now I've got to load up and actually there fight the battle. I don't think it was on Legendary. Oh, it was. I should, it should still be saved. Shouldn't have saved, I mean. If you're quick enough with, um, with that, during the end turn battles, you can load up. I didn't see it say that the game saved anywhere. But yeah, that has to be the strongest order resolve out of an army I've ever seen. And it's on very hard battle difficulty. Which, as you guys should know, that um, the battle difficulty is a multiplier on your order resolve power. Very hard being the weakest bonus for you. And like normal and easy being like double or even triple your order resolve power. It's actually kind of ridiculous how much it provides. Okay, there we go. So yeah, just showcasing that. So on legendary difficulty, very hard battles. Cool. And yeah, the, that is, I don't know if I can actually manually do that well. That was insane. But I'll do what I can. It must be assuming that these units here just absolutely wreck house. Anyway, I'll see what I can do. Because yeah, looking at what we're going up against here, like three full stacks of Warriors of Chaos. Some heroes, good single entity units. Nuts. Yeah, Miao Ying is at level 50. She should be able to tank pretty well. And I think she had the Von Karstein blade, so she got regen. Okay. Alright, let's see how we're going to do this. Alright, I think this terrain over here is probably best. It's kind of a choke point. Where the AI might pathfind poorly. Because I'm just going to try to do everything that I can to fight this battle well. Without, like, any kind of ridiculous sort of AI derp cheese. Which I'm not sure if I'll be able to do in this battle anyway. Alright. In terms of the terrain, you got to be really careful with artillery because... If you place it here, for example, you've actually got terrain in your way, so you might end up hitting these rocks. So you want to make sure you've got the high ground, but also a clear line of sight. So, for example, any units that are coming in over here, that would actually be a really bad place to shoot them. So we want to be using our maximum range if possible. Dragon Guard. Crossbowman. Typically speaking, I don't want to put too many units in front of the uh, fire rain rockets. Find that's a good way to get friendly fire. I'm gonna check up all these guys a bit. Yep. Uh, we're definitely gonna need some guys in front here, but we've got the uh, ancestral warriors summoned. That might be useful for it. Typically speaking, if you're outnumbered like this, just setting up one long line is not a great idea. You want to create gaps in your line to some degree, uh, depending on how big the gaps are, of course, so that your um, archer units can fire through there. Also, putting these guys out here a little bit can help, but the problem is they're not going to get the yin-yang bonus. So I may actually need to get them a little bit closer. So for these ones here, the yin-yang bonus will give them extra reload skill. Yeah, I can't justify putting one of these over over there. 
Maybe if I put him there, I mean, he doesn't have any yin yang, but if you stay there, I can pop this down, Ballistics Calibration, which would be just as good, Never if not better. Have I gotten God? Shenyang's faithful. Okay, just Order a couple around the, the back here, not getting it. I do usually want to keep them further away, but that yin yang bonus is really good. Dragon if we have a look at what it's providing here. Melee defense plus 6. Up to 12. Plus extra leadership. Yeah, that'll help keep them in line a lot longer. Okay. The celestial daughter. Alright, I deployed, I think, as best I can. To see how we go. We've got a few gaps here and there. But that's okay. We want to create gaps in our line. Alright. Miao Ying, off you go. I need you to go get their attention. If we can get them to start coming over here early, show that would be courage, good. Show harmony and show unity. This is the Catalan way. Guided by ancestors. Move them a little bit more this way. Move as wind. Mistress of storms. Okay, get the moving. I was going to use that to try to get back quickly, grows. but uh, we'll, we'll see how we go. All right, should we get this? Yeah, there's no reason not to do that right now. The movement deployment stuff is really derpy Marching here. Come on. Strike out. The storm dragon. Okay, I think that fireball missed. Setting All right, so we got some decent spells here. Using Talons of Night. Okay, we got heroes after us, let's go. Could just go into full dragon mode. The storm gathers. No, because I want to lure them over this way. If I go dragon mode, they'll they'll back off. Stone and steel. Okay, don't fire at will Oh man, I I shouldn't have moved them. Shouldn't have moved them. Look at this. This is this is not good. I think I can still get them to shoot, but I'm gonna have to. I'm really iffy about that. They just they just didn't reform Ready very well. Alright, come on, keep moving. Here we go. Let's do this again. Behold Get them over here early. Because I reckon those heroes there will be the biggest nuisance. Taking them out early is going to be really handy. Because what they'll do is they'll charge into units and do loads of damage. And I won't be able to focus on them while this stuff's going on. Okay. They're going pretty wide, but they're just not going to be able to get at us. There's no flying units in the army. That's it, guys. Get over here. Alright, don't Ready fire it. We'll just... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I turned it off. Because I just don't think they're going to hit it. Too small. Order and balance. Okay. I want the Celestial Dragon Guard to get these ones. We can also use Storm of Shadows to really slow them down as they're approaching. Alright, alright, alright. There we go. My power is absolute. Fireball coming for you. Yep, and he is out of there. That's exactly what we wanted to see. They took him out really quickly. Not bad. All right, now we're going to get this one over here. Right, would you to shoot over there? Let's see if that works. Just hold that fire for now. It is decreed. Setting forth. That's it, that's it, that's it. Okay, he's going down real fast there. Kill him. Good. Good, good, good. Alright, well they... Okay, they've at least formed up. So, I'm going to be grateful for that. Alright, that's that's better. Uh, Alright, fire at will. Okay, I'm going to be grateful for that at least. Alright, cool. So, two heroes have been taken out. That's good. Alright, I'm going to put you on fire at will. Shoot some stuff over there. March for the Emperor! Triviality. For the Emperor. Mm, yeah, that's pretty Master good. I mean, we don't have tons of ammunition, but this guy here can restore a bit. Definitely the artillery would be the best thing to restore the ammo of. I'm going to be shooting into this massive blob over here. 
Okay, maybe just hold fire, because these guys will use up their ammunition really quickly. Rooting out evil. All right, cool. We've got to get them over here early. These ones coming around over this way uh, is a little bit Dragon concerning, dog. so maybe I'm going to move this guy just a bit over this way. Naturally. Whatever is required. That's it, yeah. Get their attention. Let's go. Still got some more single entity heroes over here that need to be dealt with. Okay, so I'm start shooting back here, I think. This one here is on fire at will, but it's not shooting at anything. Go for that Chaos Giant. Just can't seem to get their attention there. Okay, I want them all firing on this dude here before we buddy Rex house. Should be okay to hold them back there. Oh wow, we went down real quick. Nice. Okay, we need to hold this back. Hold this back. Pop this down in here. The storm dragon. Okay, 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 that's not so bad. Good, she's got a decent amount of tanking going on there. This is okay. We've got the summons as well. This down. That's not too bad, they're actually shooting at it. That's good. Okay, yeah, keep firing at maximum range here. Don't worry about Miao Ying, because if we shoot in there, we're going to hit our own units. Yeah, you just keep shooting at that, you're doing okay. That down. She's doing a decent job of that. These guys are holding pretty well. Okay, these ones over here will do a lot of damage if we leave them alone. Miao Ying is doing a great job of tanking there. But she can't tank the entire army. Just hold off on that. We don't have any uh, like massive amounts of forces coming at us. This is no, not a big deal at all. Ready to defend. Keep doing this. This is working out pretty well. If you have a look, she's doing a lot of damage. Not so many kills, but she's doing a lot of damage. So, yeah, got through. Knights of the Brazen Throne. I don't think they're doing that much damage. We should probably get rid of them. Yeah, our units are really strong in melee as well. Stay on foot. Don't go dragon mode just yet. Dragon crossbows. No, no, no. Get back dragon over here. Get back go. over here. All right. We'll pop this down here. Give you a bit of relief. Master of Tempest. And I got the gun. Fight as one. Huh, maybe we will be able to get about as good results with Order Resolve. So keep shooting at the stuff that's far away. Alright, we need to start restoring ammunition. Good, Miao Ying held them back. God damn, this is actually doing better than I thought it would. Okay, cease fire now, just uh, give it a rest. We don't have much coming at us, so you can keep shooting. Master Engineer! Also we've got his fireball, but I don't think that's worth using. Just leave it. Yeah, loads of troops incoming here, that's what we need the fire rain rockets for. These guys here will decay really soon. Alright, not too many casualties, so maybe a few earth bloods would be in order. Just try to restore a little bit of health. Let them fire at will. Although we've got some units here that have more ammunition than others. Let's form around this way. Because they're going to be coming through here now. Not so much flanking us. These guys here. Oh, wow. Oh, army losses already. Oh. Wow, and it actually performed better than auto resolve. Just slightly. Because it barely took any damage. 
It's just the, um... The Chaos Born to come in now. And still playing Warriors of Chaos music as well. Damn, this is a good army. Holy moly. Of course, this terrain was very favorable. Now, I could do some more heals on these guys, but it's not going to revive any of them from death. But yeah, that one there is the most damaged unit. And it lost one-fifth of its total entities. Just a little bit over that. That is an extremely early army losses as well. Three full stacks. Usually missile-based armies really struggle against numerous enemies. Do you know the funny thing here as well? We might not get heroic victory. Because we used up too much ammo. Maybe. <laughs> we'll see. No, no, still got heroic victory. Cool. Wow. That army absolutely rocked. Not only was it super strong in auto resolve, because that stuff was a lot of force to get that good of a result, but it also was good in manual resolve. But yeah, you really need to make sure you don't get flanked. That's the big thing with this sort of army here. So picking terrain is so important. You can't just put it anywhere. So I guess if you're if you're finding yourself like fighting in a jungle where there's loads of uh, obstructions, you could probably just end up auto resolving it. So if you end up getting a map that you don't want to fight on, yeah, you can just not fight it and do just fine. You get a good map and these guys here all got really good kills. Yeah, loads of damage on all of them. Alright, now let's have a little bit of a look on the campaign map and um, see what exactly that hero is providing to the army. Because I feel like, without him, the army isn't quite as good. He may have, like, tipped it over the line to, like, a critical mass point where they were good on their own without him, but then the bonuses that they he was providing them made them become, like, a super doom stack. So let's have a look at that. The, storm dragon. the attrition did more damage to us than the enemy army. Alright, so looking at Dremar Harm... Amethyst. What's he doing for the army? So, Clan Angren, Ancestor. Yeah, whatever. Okay, so he's providing 20% extra ammunition. Yeah, they don't provide range for the army anymore. So, I actually think it, you would have been better off getting a Skaven Warlock Engineer dude. Because, for one thing, he'll be a spellcaster. He's got everything here that this guy does. Except for Zuffbar 42 Pounders, which that is not a powerful ability. I uh, had Flash Bomb there. That is definitely a good ability, but don't really need to use it. But the extra range really does come in handy, especially for the artillery. So yeah, you've got the Requisition, Triangulation for extra uh, missile strength as well. Zapper. I mean, it, don't get me wrong, it's cool that he stole a legendary hero. That is definitely really cool. But I think you would have been better off with a Skaven. They're, they're actually just better than the Dwarven Master Engineers. I know that's going to put me in the book. But the extra range does help. Big time. But maybe because this guy here is a Dwarf, he was providing more auto resolve power than a uh, Master Engineer would have. Because the thing is as well, is if you had a Master Engineer... Uh, sorry, a um, Warlock Engineer. Then you could have also had Howling Whoop Gale. Because this army here would be very weak to flying units. It would just go fly down here and kill off the uh, fire rain rock. Because that would be a super pain in the ass. But yeah, if you've got... Um, uh, what's it called? Howling Warp Gale. You can essentially prevent that. But yeah, really good army. Okay, in terms of rating it. I'd say practicality is really high. With the exception of, of course, stealing a hero. But I also don't think that this Master Engineer is needed for this Doom Stack to be good. I definitely think that the Celestial Dragon Guard had a good impact. Rather than just spamming all archers, these guys here did a good job of holding the line. Obviously, they, they sort of got through the gaps a little bit, um, but ultimately didn't do that much damage. And then they found themselves pincered by the Celestial Dragon Guard as well, so it got them wiped out. The artillery combination was good. I think two Fire Rain Rockets made sense. They were wiping out 
quite a few units. This uh, Grand Cannon's a bit iffy on, but I think it took out the Giant fairly well. Um, so practicality, fairly high. Stealing heroes is kind of difficult, so I've got a lower practicality for that, but medium-high practicality. In strength, super strong. Ease of use, sort of medium. Um, we had a very favorable terrain there, but if you don't have good terrain, then um, it can be difficult to use on the battlefield. However, I also got to give it some bonus points in this regard. I don't usually do this, but I'm going to give it a lot of bonus points for order resolve because if you end up in a situation that this would be a difficult fight for them just due to terrain sometimes that happens then you've probably just going to be able to order resolve it anyway so be able to pick and choose which battles you actually want to fight while still getting good results one way or another so it's ease of use goes from sort of medium to kind of high because yeah you don't actually have to fight any battles if you're going to have difficulty with them so that's really good so overall way stronger than i thought it was going to be it's actually a really good army because yeah we know that meow ying boosts uh mr Yunus by a ton don't need to go through her skill line to look at it we've, we've evaluated her before anyway that's the end of this one here guys hope you enjoyed it hope you learned something appreciate you and we'll see you next time later guys